Hello? I thought I just heard a girl. Hey, are you in there? Anyone here? Besides me? Anyone here that's human? Bro, oh, shoot. this looks like the most pedo outfit ever. <laughs> the Jeffrey <laughs> Dahmer glasses? The suit? What the? Whoa, oh, what the hell's that? Oh, whoa. Yo, look, look at that. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another adventure. Today I am somewhere in the Catskill Mountains. We are trying to avoid security right now. Got the boys over there, Aldo, Carlo, and Chad. And there's a security guard that just pulled in as we were getting onto this abandoned property. Somewhere down there in a white truck, so we gotta be very careful. There's a big, big resort. I've been to this place a long time ago at nighttime. Never been here in the daytime. Came here at nighttime and I briefly filmed the video. It was very cold, so we had to leave quickly. I want to go back in the daytime because recently there was word of a little girl going missing in there some kid went in there with her friends they were exploring and then something happened and she went missing now that must explain why there is security all around this perimeter and why they're not letting people in or even letting people on this property but we're giving you guys a sneaking adventure let's just pray things don't go wrong out here in the middle of nowhere let's do this sergeants this really is a scary adventure not only because do we have some random guy in a white truck most likely security on our tail already but also we have the danger aspect the resort itself very very dangerous place to be for all we know this girl like fell off the building and died but you know a lot of the locals say she's actually still missing oh the guy stopped must be something what's wrong hey, there's the two guys there in the truck they're not in the truck anymore they're walking they look like workers oh sh are they coming this way they're just kind of standing they were walking towards did they see you did they see you guys i don't know Chad, did they see you guys? Yeah. I don't know. He, he turned around and looked. Where'd they go? They just dipped somewhere. Oh, there they are. They're wearing green. So that's gotta be workers. Yeah. These two guys are just working over there. See them? These tire tracks, they're fresh. Yeah. Jeez. Right okay, so we have to go a different way. I don't know. Legitimately working. Like, they don't see you guys? <clears throat> what are they doing over there? Oh, they just dropped something. I don't think those are workers. I think those are just a bunch of kids destroying something. What was Do you have a fence? Yeah, I heard something on the fence. All right, so that's gonna be a no-go for us on that way. There's two guys there. I don't know what they're doing. This place has been abandoned for a long time. Like, it was supposed to be put back together in 2020. It was supposed to reopen in 2020, but then 2020 happened and it closed down and then it got completely obliterated and destroyed by kids. <laughs> so I don't know what these guys are doing here. We just found this random structure here. Oh, not much going on in it. So right now, we're trying to get around this creek. And if we get to this creek, it looks like there's an old abandoned road there. We might be able to like bypass those guys that are on that main road. So look at this. <laughs> there's always a way around. You just gotta find it. Ah, I think maybe from there. Cause you see the road there, right? There's a road right there, like a little bridge. Yeah, that might get us around. We just have to cross this area. If we get across here, we'll get to that road over there. I mean, the tree's the only way, I think. It's very solid. This tree is actually perfect. <laughs> so there's a road there. I don't know where that goes, but we're gonna follow it and see. You should not be this hard. Dude, it's really easy. It's a solid tree. I walked across it, no problem. Oh, this is the old school Mosarji way. You guys wanted old school Mosarji. You're freaking getting it. It's really easy, you just walk across. Well, it was easy for me, but... <laughs> Chad did it. It wasn't that hard. No! <laughs> I'll just walk past that part and you'll be good to go. This is a strange random bridge here though. I thought that was a road. Nah, it's a bridge. <laughs> Carlo, let's go. You got this. Oh my God, there's no way you haven't made it across. <laughs> Dude, what? you're not, just let go and go. 
Just go, bro. You can grab onto the middle thing. Five minutes later. Huh? This beta male? Not an alpha male. Definitely a beta male. That's a beta male if I've ever seen one. Once you reach that first stick, you can just grab onto it. Yeah, just grab one. If Carlo does it, although he's going to put you to shame. We got two beta males right there. All right. Beta male Aldo has substituted with possibly an alpha male Carlo. Possibly. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, looks like Carlo is quickly turning into a beta male. Giving up. Oh, definitely a beta male move right there. Oh, only a beta male will crawl across a tree like that. Well, you're you're a double beta male. He's a beta male right now. That's not an alpha move right there, but it's okay. We'll let it pass. He likes that position anyways. All right, Carlo has done it. He's not out of the woods yet, literally. He's not off the tree. <laughs> this is entertainment at its well, finest. Take a picture of your phone. I'm not taking a picture of nothing. You don't want a picture of that. You literally look like the most beta male ever. Take a picture, he says. <laughs> <laughs> How funny it would be if you got like stung by a bee right now. <laughs> Alright, you're almost there. Arch that booty. No, you gotta come down the whole thing. Oh man. Alright, so Carlo is in between alpha male and beta male, but Aldo is pure beta male right now. There is not a bone of alpha in that man. Alright, Carlo made it. Carlo gets an upgrade to alpha. Not leader alpha, but in between the B and the A. Good job, Carlo. Carlo, we went down that way. It was much easier. Aldo has now taken the same technique as Carlo. Oh, this is worse than Carlo. He's laying down. Completely laying down. There is so much to unfold here, but I am here to report this on Mo NN. Carlo has made it. Aldo has no hope. If his life depended on it. Oh, oh, that was a suicidal thing to do. Just throw yourself out there, but it worked. He still might sink into the water. We shall see and find out. All right, the beta males have made it across. We what shall continue fuck? our trek. All right, so we've made it onto this weird platform in the middle of the forest here. So now we have to find our way around and then make it to the resort, which is way up there. So I do see a trail, very old washed up trail for the old golf course. There used to be a golf course here at one point in time. This might take us to where we want to go. This might take us completely the opposite way. We're going to find out though, not for sure. Oh, what the heck is this? That's interesting. Looks like somebody was stealing copper wire or something from inside oh, yeah. of the resort. They got caught and they dropped their stuff. They dropped their wire. All right, guys, as you can see, there's the resort way out there in the distance. We still have a far walk. We do. But that's it over there. It's massive. Now, I filmed this resort at nighttime years ago. I filmed it rushed, filmed it in the cold weather. Oh, we got tracks here. Could be animals. The thing is, when I came here at nighttime, I literally walked into the front gate. There was security guards, but we snuck around them. But now it's daytime. <laughs> and there's no sneaking around them in the daytime so we got to find a different way look at this this is like a bed where like deer sleep really? yeah you can tell because they like flatten the grass or coyotes probably deers though oh my god there's like where we just walked in there's like sh everywhere there's like deer poop everywhere oh, this is where deer sleep we're kind of off trail now because the trail is going opposite direction so i'm following whatever trails the deers have made so we're back on a trail right now and this trail oh there's a deer over there this trail should loop around to the resort, I hope. You can see all the white-tailed deers is jumping in and out of the bushes over there. So close, yet so far, the adventure continues. So the trail has taken us to some abandoned chapel. Never seen this one before. But the resort is still down that way. All the way there. We're getting really close, you guys. Very, very, very close. And now we're more tense because on the opposite side of this, there's another security guard sitting out like a security guard checkpoint. So we got to be careful. Okay, update. We just found some more ATV trails. We can either stick the trail we were going, which guarantees you to go around to the resort, or we go down these ATV trails and hope they get us to the resort and turn around. I can see it turns up that little hill and maybe it goes left. I don't know. Oh, sh they got helicopters. Yo, run. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Like realistically, there's no way they're out here searching for us. We are through some really thick brush right now, but we're almost there. There's the resort. We're basically following man-made trails and then we're getting off the man-made trails and we're following the deer trails. The trails created by the deer that are living here. There's so much deer out here. We just heard a, a girl screaming coming from the resort. So there's the active resort where the security guard is. I don't know if you guys can see it, 
not active resort, the abandoned one. Now that resort has nothing to do with this resort. That security guard has nothing to do with it. But there's a chance if he sees us, he's gonna snitch us out. So that's why we're taking this extra long detour. I gotta tell you guys, we're all about to give up on this adventure because security's getting tight around the corner. We're hearing ATVs on this property and we haven't been able to find our way around the wetlands. So it's like deep wetlands surrounding the whole place. It's been really hard. All right, we're almost there, <laughs> I think. We've been saying that for like the past hour and a bit. <laughs> if only you guys knew what we've been going through. Like you guys will never experience what we're going through, through a camera. You have to actually be here. Watch out for all those thorns. I'm gonna go down this way. Ugh. There we go. Oh, f there's a river. <laughs> there's a river. Oh, but hey, we can walk to the bridge from here at least. <laughs> there's a freaking river. Oh, there's another bridge right there. Oh, if we take that bridge, we can avoid security. So there's a trail that goes to that bridge. Then rather to go to this one. And that should bring us right to it. Yeah. We found a bridge over here. I heard that. <laughs> there's someone screaming over there. Shh, 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 shh. Stop moving. Oh my god. Guys, that's a wild boar. That will kill us if, it, if we see it. That's an actual wild boar. I got it on camera. It's a wild boar. Are you serious? Bro, if we run into that thing, we're dead. They literally kill you. Really? It's on the other side. So not only do we have a river, but we also have a wild boar problem. Damn, I heard that. That was loud. Yeah, it was loud. That was 100% a wild boar. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yo, what the hell? Yo, guys, come quick. Yo, there's multiple skeletons here. What the heck? What are these? Bro, look at these. Yo, oh. yeah, that's the wind or there's something moving over there. <laughs> oh my god. There the might be the wind, but it seemed like something was moving to the brush right there. Yo. Bro, look at behind him. I just found all these body parts. Oh, on, bodies. What kind of animal is this? The... This looks like a bird to me, but you know what would have eaten it? You know what it would have eaten an animal like this? A wild boar, wild which boar. is what we heard. We're in its territory, yeah. guys. Seriously, wild boars will literally kill humans. We got to be careful. We don't have guns or nothing on us. No, we don't have nothing on us. Fuck, let's get out of here. Let's get to the bridge. Oh my god! So, what are the odds of that? Yo, that's terrifying. We're walking in the middle of nowhere. I decided to take this random detour, and we find bones. No, we would have never found that. But this is what I mean. When I go on adventures, something always happens. And people think we fake it. It's fucking real. Oh, that's crazy. But things actually always happen. This looks like dangerous territory right here. Holy sh**. This is the bridge, boys. <laughs> it's, it's, it's finished all right. It's That's just a little sketch, but... <laughs> Oh no. Oh, not this. Oh. Uh -oh. oh no. All right, let's just make sure our shoelaces are all tied. Okay, so <laughs> the plan is don't die. Yeah. Very simple. Really easy rules. Don't die. That's all. Um, yeah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, pray. <laughs> Maybe you just sidestep the whole way. I'm kind of going to do that. <laughs> Holy sh**. How far do I want to go? I get on there? I say wait till I get to the next post. You know what I mean? I mean, realistically, if you fall, it's not that deep. Yeah. And it's not that high. Like, it's only about 10 feet high. <laughs> but we did find carcasses near this. Bro, look, I'm halfway. Whoa! <laughs> Guys, it's, it's really not that hard. All right, here we go. Don't try this at home, kids. <sighs> nervous. <laughs> Very nervous. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Saying a little prayer. You guys should start coming. This is like a Mr. Beast game. Take the wrong step and you fall in. You guys should start coming. Yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just please don't fall all right here we go this is the longest stretch right here as you guys can see all right i'm across wow 
All right, guys, come on over. <laughs> come on over, boys. This right here is what living a little is all about. Getting out of your comfort zone, doing something stupid and dangerous. I don't recommend you guys do this because that could collapse any minute, but hey, this is American steel. And if it's one thing I believe in, is American iron. Because some of the most hardworking Americans broke their back building this bridge probably like 60 years ago, and it's still holding up. Yo, I just seen something on, weird on the drone. Either there's people stealing something or they might have something to do with the missing girl. I don't have a good connection. What are they doing? What are these guys doing? Look, you made it. They know I'm there. Oh, they see you? I wonder if they're stealing something. Yeah, 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 blame it on leg workouts. Look at this guy. We're still waiting on Aldo. I just flew my drone above this place and those people that we saw on the trail back there were on top of the roof of the building so either security is already on the roof waiting for us or there's somebody shady up there or it could be other explorers i don't know but we can't find out until aldo makes yeah. it across safely <laughs> he's getting there you got this man come on almost there you can do it we're all rooting for you <laughs> all right let's not push our limits here let's not get too cocky <laughs> look at all these pig hoofs Right there. We're literally in the thickness of pig territory. They're probably watching us from up there. The people? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I doubt they could probably see us. No, they can't. I'm just more worried about these pigs. That's all I can think about right now. What was that? Was that them? That was them. I heard. Okay. <laughs> I'm so on edge. <laughs> Jesus. This is a risky one, boys. All right, we're almost there. Sergeants, I think we just made it. This video might turn into a two-part series. Like, no lie, this was a mission getting here, but we did all that to avoid security. Now, we originally thought the people that we've seen on the trail down there were security, but I don't think they are because they're up on the f***ing tower. So that could have been a mistake on our part, but it's better to be safe than sorry. It really is. I really wanted to film this place in the daytime because I've never done it in the daytime and there's so much that I missed when I was here at nighttime. Like, there's a lot of buildings I didn't get a chance to film, but by the time we get up in this thing, it's gonna get night real quick. Oh, great. More wetlands. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the people that are there right now either snuck in from the front or having a struggle going through these wetlands full of pigs. Great. Just freaking This is all wetland. I think we can go around that way. God damn it. Well, it looks like we finally made it. But I said that a bunch of times already. I'm really um, pissed off. The whole objective was to come here in the daytime. And now that's gone. Look, we wasted hours. I think a good two hours in this field. Yeah. A good two hours just trying to get to this place. When before, all I did was jump a fence, but we can't because of the security guard. We could have gone through that other trail, but the guy in the yellow shirt, we thought it was security. It turns out it was another guy just coming here to steal shit. Did you see them? I seen people, two guys on the roof, and those were the guys that were on the trail, but there were two other people with a wheelbarrow down there stealing stuff. Like we're they had a wheelbarrow copper. full of copper. Probably copper, yeah. So, so we had to be careful because yeah. those guys could be fucking like... No, I doubt it. Like, I'll fuck them up at this point. I'm really pissed off that we missed our daylight shot. I just really wanted to film this place in the daytime. I can actually hear somebody breaking stuff inside. Dude, look at this. This whole thing is flooded. The shack? That's crazy. There's someone breaking stuff inside. God damn it. Welcome to the building from hell. Wow. It's legitimately like a war zone out here. Looks like a war zone, huh? Oh, it's crazy over here. <laughs> damn. This building has seen better days. When I was here at nighttime years ago, the windows were all still here. Now the windows are all destroyed. So when I was here years ago, back in 2020, I should say, I did not explore this. I didn't even see this. So I don't know what this is all about. I did explore all of this. I might go up just because I want to see the sunset. It'd be really cool, but it's going to be a hard ass climb all the way up there. And there's other people in the building and I don't know what that experience is going to be like. I am off on my own right now. Look at this. This is all stuff that I missed last time. This giant swimming pool down that way. As you guys can see. 
really massive pool. All right, guys, so we're about to make our way in. Oh, look, there's four people over there. Bro, we did all that and these people are just walking in from the front entrance? <laughs> there is no way they're walking in from the front entrance. What, what happened to the security guards? They're not paying attention? Like, these guys just walked in. I seen a couple of people with a wheelbarrow stealing shit on the drone. The gate's wide open. See, I filmed that building, that building, and this big one, but not the other ones. Oh man. Guys, the door's locked. We can't get in, the door's locked. We can't get in, the door's locked. How do we get in? Dude, we came all the way here and the door's locked? Well, maybe, maybe if I go in this way, I can like unlock it somehow? No, we can't. Uh, Sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna get a chance to film this place in the daytime like I wanted to. We did want to do a whole search of this place, like a thorough one for that missing girl. I'm still gonna be doing that even when it gets dark. It's just gonna make my life harder. <sighs> Sucks. It is what it is. We're gonna make our way up to the roof right now. So we haven't gone up yet. We're hearing a lot of loud noises. Someone is throwing heavy objects out of the windows all the way down. Someone's stealing shit. That was loud. What are they throwing out? Jeez. Scary. So, so man. Uh, those are the guys that we thought were security guards on the trail. <laughs> God damn it. Holy crap. This has been an insane adventure. <sighs> At least we made it. This is what I want to do. Is to get up here. This before it gets dark. Sargi family, look at this view. Absolutely insane. So cool, right? So we're on the roof still and we just found another staircase. That goes up higher. I didn't, I didn't know that. Let's go up and check it out. Now we're gonna feel this tomorrow. We're definitely not doing another video today. <laughs> Whoa, this is the elevator room. Now you don't want to fall in there. So, I wonder if that missing girl fell down there or something. What's in here? Oh, there's another staircase that goes up. No, it's not. I'm just, I'm just we are about to explore a couple floors of this big building. I'm not gonna explore all of it because I've already been in this building. I'm just showing it to Carlo. And uh, now we're gonna basically make our way to all the buildings that I've never been to before. Wow, this place got destroyed. These would have been the presidential suites. Mm -hmm. Holy, not so presidential anymore, guys. Wow. The floor is soft too, you gotta be careful. I don't think I've ever been in this room because when I came here, some rooms were actually locked. Look at this. Wow. Totally obliterated. All right, I spent a little bit too much time checking out that view. I literally sat there for like 15 minutes just looking outside those windows. So again, this is an area that I've never been into because these were all locked when I was here last. So there are some beds and couches left behind. That's pretty cool. Somebody, I guess, had broken through the doors and the locks. There used to be doors and locks and stuff and someone broke them through. This one as well, I don't think I've ever been to it. Wow, that's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like on this side of the building towards the actual active resort. So there's another resort, it's active. And that's where the security station is, is over there by that post. On the opposite side of it, you guys can't see it, but he's there watching. <laughs> Which is why we had to go through all that mess just to get in here. So at one point the presidential suite had marble walls up here. I don't think all the walls in this building had marble, but these ones definitely did. Oh, that's a lot of water. Hmm. So as I'm exploring this building and all the other buildings, I'm gonna be on the lookout for that girl. I mean, she's probably not here, but it's good to keep an eye out. I don't know where all the other guys are. I'm kind of by myself right now, but it's no problem. You guys know we can handle it. The sergeants are here in full force. And if you guys are sergeants, I expect you guys to help support this channel. If you want to become a member of my Instagram, a subscriber, I am doing subscriber only live streams on IG. And once you become a subscriber on my Instagram, you actually get access to my DM. So you can DM me anytime and we can chat anytime. So those are the perks of becoming a subscriber on my IG. So if you guys want to go right ahead, feel free to do it. If you can't, then it's okay. Don't worry about it. Not the end of the world. I just ran into Aldo going up the stairs. He's gone upstairs now. All the other guys are upstairs too. But Aldo was telling me he heard something creepy downstairs. And that reminds me of when I was here with Angelo um, back in 2020. We encountered something weird in the basement. 
something like more of a paranormal type of encounter. I believe it. This place is very old. When the people move out, the spirits move in. Damn, it's always so creepy. Always so creepy to see this. I'm gonna make my way to the one of the buildings that I actually haven't been to yet, and then I'll explore and meet up with the guys. So this is a building here that I don't think I've ever filmed. I don't remember filming it. Just trying to stay clear of this building because earlier there were some people throwing stuff off of it. And there's still kids up there right now. But these kids that are here aren't throwing stuff. The people that were throwing stuff was the guy in the yellow shirt that we seen earlier on the path. Him and his friend. Also when I was here last, I did not see that swimming pool. So I wanna go take a look at that too. Someone's breaking a lot of stuff up in there. God damn it. This is why you can't like really publish locations because people will come in and just destroy and tear this place apart. As you can see from this building, it's probably one of the worst abandoned spots I've ever been to like in terms of destruction. So right now I'm making my way to the swimming pool before it gets completely dark. I just really want to see it up close. And then I'm going to start exploring all the buildings that I've never explored before. Oh, there's thorns everywhere. Oh, that's pretty cool. I hope you guys are enjoying this adventure. I really do. I'm really tired to be honest. Like I wanted to come in here with lots of energy and give you guys a, a different video. Um, at the same time, exploring, at the same time, keeping an eye out for that girl. I, d I doubt she's here. She did go missing in this place. This was the last place she was seen apparently, but we're so drained from going in the bush. Wow. Holy wow. That is crazy. Would you guys jump in this water for $1,000? I definitely would not. Apparently some kid recently jumped in the pool in an abandoned spot and he got some sort of disease and like is now paralyzed. This pool would have been the coolest swimming pool to swim in. Honestly, look how big it is. Like back then when the grounds were well kept, everything was looking good. This would have been like the spot. And there was like a little jacuzzi. Actually, this is a big jacuzzi. Wowee, look at this thing. Probably so much dead human skin in this thing. I avoid jacuzzis because it's probably like the filthiest place to go into. But yeah, there was a jacuzzi here that could probably seat like 25 people, easy. Probably even more to be honest. Imagine that, 25 people in a jacuzzi that is full of nasty pubes. Most people don't even wash their buttholes after they take a shit. I'm definitely not one of them. I'm all about cleanliness. Yeah, so that would have been really disgusting. And it looks like this used to be a bar right up here. Yeah, this was definitely a bar area. That's cool. See all this stuff I didn't see it when I was here last, including all these buildings here. There's also an ice skating rink, which I missed, and a ski lift because they were it was a ski resort too in the winter. So all these buildings here to the right, I haven't filmed. Everything to the left, I've filmed. So I'm not going to film those again. But yeah, this was a bar. Wowee, I wonder if there's anything left over. Holy, nothing. Pretty cool. Aquabana Cafe. Let's go see what's inside. So I guess for everybody that was, you know, chilling here at the pool, they can come in here and grab something to eat. It's a pretty tiny cafe though. Yeah, not much to it. I guess the food would come out from there. There might be a kitchen over there. It's weird. It smells like oil, like fried, french fries and oil. There's no way this was a kitchen. Yeah, definitely not the kitchen. So where the hell was the kitchen? Where were they getting the food from? How are they serving food? This was definitely not a kitchen. Where was the kitchen? <laughs> For the record, my feet are wet, sticky, muddy, and disgusting from this adventure. So y'all better smash that like button. By the way, I want to know something in the comments below. Do you guys think I should grow my beard like I used to or should I keep it short like it is now? To me, this is short, it used to be longer. I kind of like the young looking Mosarji. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. Do you like the beard to be short or the beard to be long? Still have no clue where all the guys are. Just kind of roaming around on my own right now. I'm about to infiltrate that building over there. Yo, this is so spooky. I'm getting so much paranormal vibes from this building for some reason. I don't know what this one was all about, but let's find out. Yeah, I don't think I've been here, but it's possible that I have. I just don't remember it. Oh my God, it's collapsed. Whoa. Well, 
Something happened to this side of the building. Looks like a freaking missile hit it. Holy moly. Look at this. It literally looks like a missile hit this thing. Whew. Wow. This was like a lobby area, kind of like a chill area, I guess. I hope it's safe. There could have been rooms here too at one point. Maybe some like more high-end rooms, more on like the luxurious side, but look at the way this looks. Completely destroyed. Yeah, so I've never been in here. This is cool to see. I definitely don't remember this. These were probably more of like the luxurious cottage vibe rentals. Purple door. Hello, little girl. A little girl in here? Is there a little girl in here? Whoa. So creepy. I don't feel safe in here at all. I feel like something's just gonna like jump out at me. Whoa, they still have Listerine here and soaps and stuff. Anyone here? Besides me? Anyone here that's human? What? There's a basement? No way. You're kidding me. Oh my god. Yeah. That's closed. I'm not even gonna mess with that. Yo, that's crazy. So I guess whatever happened here collapsed into the basement. Yeah, this is not a safe place to be in. Let's go upstairs. Hello? You a Tom, my boy? Whoa. This is so creepy, you guys. Yeah, this is freaking <laughs> terrifying but these were probably the most luxurious parts of this place and now they are completely gone so i heard somebody bought this property now i don't know if this is true but i heard somebody bought this property for like 500 million i don't think that's true at all there's an attic holy shit. Whoa. oh this is sketchy Whoa. <laughs> hello yeah, this is so creepy. And I'm like, wiggles, this thing just won't stop wiggling. <laughs> it won't stop wiggling. Oh my God. <laughs> this is like what noodle legs feel like. All right, we're not gonna go back up that. Old room over here. How the hell did I miss all this the last time I was here? It's crazy. This whole building feels like it's shaking, to be honest. Or my legs are just kind of wiggly from that staircase. Look at this. Wow, that's crazy. There's like a bed here, some clothes. Okay, I don't know if this building is shaking. I think the building's shaking. Like, no BS. Whoa, okay, I'm getting out of here. I feel the building shaking. There's definitely not my legs, like after the staircase. Oh my God, this is actually shaking. I feel weird. That's very weird. I don't even think it's the building. It could be something different. Like something like oh, these stairs are destroyed. So much destruction. That's weird. It felt like everything was shaking up there. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of this building because there's clearly not much else to see because everything's destroyed on the side, but it was still nice to come and see it. So now we shall move on. There's a skating rink. Apparently I want to go and check that out. Just to give you guys an idea of what this building looks like from the outside, this is what it looks like. Obliterated. It's almost like something like crashed into it. This is so terrifying. Sounds like the demon duck from hell out here. Hello? I thought I just heard a girl. Hey, are you in there? I 
swear to God, I just heard a girl. Hey, little girl, you're inside. Little girl. I swear to God, I just heard a girl inside of this building. So these are all areas unknown to me, so I don't know how to get in. But I did hear a little girl's voice. What is this place? This looks like a barn. I'll check that out in a bit, but I heard a little girl's voice calling out to me. I don't know if the camera caught it. I was just turning on my camera. Hello? Who there? Hello? Who's that? Yeah. Oh. Hey, did you hear a little girl? Did I hear a little girl? Yeah, I came in here because I heard a little girl calling out to me. You know what's so crazy? Huh? We heard people like, or somebody like running on the floor above us. Yeah. We didn't see anybody. Wait, is there a floor above us? Yeah. Interesting. I heard a little girl saying, help me For real? from this room, which is why I came running out of the darkness into here. And you didn't see nobody. No. We didn't yeah. hurt people. And it was weird because all them kids left. Yeah, they all, I saw them all leave. Right? And we didn't see nobody. And then we just hear running back and forth in one area. Where's everybody else? Uh, back there. I don't even think I've ever been. I could. It's possible I've been here. I just don't remember this building. There's a barn out here behind me. I just, I've never been to the barn. Yeah. I was looking for the theater. I think it's in this building. Oh, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen the theater. Yeah, it's pretty massive. I mean, yeah, I've been here. Building, Me and Angelo had a weird paranormal encounter in here. Yeah. The last time we were here. Yeah, this so. building is weird. Bro, I legit heard a girl calling out to me from here. No way. Yeah, that's why I came in here. I wasn't planning on coming in here. I wonder if it was the same person we heard running back and forth. Well, it could be that missing girl, right? She yeah. might be hiding out here. I don't know. It would help if we knew her name, but nobody really knows her name. They just know there's a girl that's been missing. And she's been spotted here a bunch of times. Hey, it could be a ghost girl for all we know. All right, it's very possible. Who knows if anybody brought anyone back here and just murdered her. Yeah, exactly. Thinking that they would just never find her. Yeah, I've been in here. Yo, you guys didn't hear a girl? No. I came in here because I heard a girl calling out and saying, help me. Really? Yeah, I wasn't even recording and they heard it. Did and they turned my camera. Well, I heard a little girl calling out, help me. And that's why I, when I came in here and then I ran into Chad, so he's saying there was no girl in here. Dude, we heard footsteps up here. Yeah. That's why we came here. That's crazy, because I was outside. I was going to the barn. I wasn't even coming in here. And the girl's voice led me in here. And you guys are in here yeah. hearing stuff too. Yeah, man. Something is in here. But we just can't find it. So I think the theater is upstairs. There's a theater here? Yeah, it's crazy if I remember correctly. That's huge. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Maybe she's in the theater. Maybe. Where was it? This place is so massive, it's like easy to get lost. Whoa. So right now we're going up these stairs that apparently take us to the theater, if I remember correctly. Uh, Wait, what happened? <laughs> it's, it's through here, I think. Crazy. I think. Maybe, maybe not. Where the hell is this theater? Oh, here it is. Whoa, that's not in a theater. Definitely not a theater. <laughs> Where the heck is the elusive? It, it is here somewhere. Where the heck oh. is this elusive theater? Yeah, we're falling through the floor, bro. Jeez, I almost fell through a couple floors. Well, you let me know if it's there. And then we go this way. Watch out, the floors here are very bad. Is there a popcorn? Um, possibly. Extra buttery? Possibly. So back in the day when this was an active resort, this was the, the dance floor for the nightclub. Really? That's where we're in right now. Let's, let's see who oh. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, whoa. Oh. Yo, look, look at that. Oh, dude, I missed that. I got that on camera. What the f There's no wind in here. Dude, that thing just moved by itself, that current. Wait, there's nobody behind it? No. Dude, I totally that. No way. I got that on camera. Yeah. Yo, what the hell, dude? Is there no. One it? no. <laughs> okay, that was definitely paranormal. There's no wind in here at all. Dude, I saw that with my eyes. By the time I started filming, it was too late. Did any of you guys catch that? I might have. I got that on camera, 100%. Bro, it's really not moving right now. No, no, it's not. There's no wind in here. Yeah, the current moved all by itself. So that is exactly what I mean when I say paranormal happens when you least expect it. Yeah. If you're not looking for it, it, like it does it. Like right now, nothing's happening. I'm like, yeah, it's not even moving. 
it's weird that it's not moving now and before it just it was full on dancing yeah and it's it's not like it was the wind there's no wind in here at all like if there was wind that would be moving that the, the, the dust would be kicking up that was actual paranormal and i legit caught that on camera that's so cool yeah, yeah. Holy oh, wait did i just see a white shadow i thought i just seen a white shadow figure hey if there's any spirits in here make that curtain move again if you're still with us make the curtain move carlo you're there okay good everyone's here that was 100% real, 150%. Yeah, you're lucky you caught that on camera, to be honest. That was pure luck, pure luck. I wasn't even expecting that. Me neither. I was like, I saw it by, you know? Sometimes I'm not, you can't catch it. I'm not even looking for paranormal in this place. I'm just right. legit just doing abandoned. But hey, that's cool. There you go. Thank you, ghost. Right. Do it again. So you're welcome. No? Okay. Yo, it's really weird because right next to where that curtain moved, there's a Bible here. What the? And there's a broken mirror here. So that might be like... That could have some sort of paranormal significance. I you know what I mean? You just noticed that. Hey, can you uh, make that move again? Whatever's here. There's a Bible right here. Guys, if this thing starts to go up, there's, there's a broken mirror. It looks like there's a ritual done. Is that a Bible? Yeah, it is. Or is yeah. that Holy Day prayer book? There's literally a prayer book, and it looks like a ritual. And then the curtain moved. Yeah. There's like. <gasps> oh! Oh! Carlo, yeah. where's where's Carlo? What? Is it doing that? Oh! Is, are you moving that? Is Carlo moving the curtain? What? No, Where's Carlo? It's still moving. Okay, yeah, Carlo's over there. It's still I just got that again. Yo, what the hell? Can you make the curtain turn, completely turn like you did earlier? Bro, it happened as soon as you touched the Bible. It's doing it, it's doing it, it's doing it, it's doing it. Dude, it happened as soon as you touched the Bible. Touch the Bible again. Ooh, ooh. Oh. <gasps> what? Carlo's over there, just for the record, guys. Carlo is all the way over there. What the hell? How come when you touch the Bible, it happens? I'm telling you, maybe someone did like some sort of ritual with a broken mirror. Don't I wouldn't even step on that, to be honest. That could be bad luck. I know, that's what I'm stepping on. Yeah, broken like mirror, a, a Bible? Maybe I step on it, lock it Dude, what the hell? That is so trippy. Dude, there's no wind here. Yeah, it's not the wind, man. Everything else will be moving. There's, there's nothing to put in there. I'm telling you, yo, there is nothing here. Did you guys hear that? What's Hello? That? Doing down there? That came from that room. You guys heard that, right? Yeah, it came from that room. Okay, what the hell's going on? Yo, it's starting to get weird. What's here? Yo, maybe it's the boar. The boar? Remember that giant boar? Bro, that boar. I don't want to. I don't want to see that thing. <laughs> I don't want to mess with that thing. Hey, I found some money. Really? What? Shotgun. I found a dollar. It's probably the most crisp dollar in the world. I'm not like I honestly cannot make this up. A brand new dollar bill. Yeah, well, let's see. And it's not prop money. Carlo, I found a dollar bill. Yeah. Oh my god, look what's over here. Look at these mushrooms growing on the floor in here. Bro, what the hell is what? going on, bro? Some kind of ritual shit is happening. I found a dollar bill. Should I keep it? Yeah. yeah. Buy something with it. Carlo, I found a dollar bill. You know what you should do with that dollar? Yeah. Do a whole video. Let's see what you can trade for the that dollar. dollar bill? <laughs> no, trade it for something. Okay. Oh let's my see. god, I'm gonna keep what did you it. Find? I found a dollar bill. It's fake. Check that out. No, it's real. It's 100% real. That's fake. No, it's real. That's a real dollar. Give me the money, you cheap bastard. <laughs> also, look at this mushroom field inside. What the hell? Isn't that crazy? Mushrooms growing inside. I'm going to keep this dollar, but it could be a, like a it's cursed. cursed dollar. But I'm going to keep it. Let's see what happens. So this barn is the last thing that I'm going to take a look at and check out and see if there's any evidence of this girl before we get the heck out of here. We're all pretty exhausted. We're tired. It's very late. And we've been at this forever, man, like hours and hours. And uh, if she's not here, it's gonna call it. We tried our best. Holy sh what is this place? What the hell? What was this place? I wonder if this was for the, uh, the ski lift. Oh, man. Looks like there's a lot of stuff left behind here. Whoa. There's like a whole book of like, from 1954. Someone wrote this from 1954. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, look at these checks, $285. Don't worry guys, I'll turn the light off. Checks? I wonder if we can cash these. There's checks everywhere. They're from 1982. Holy moly. The this building is just full of paperwork. And there's signatures on the back. Michael Nastanagle. Whoa. Uh, 
Look at look at how much checks there are here. It's like so much money here. 177, 159. I wonder if these were paychecks. This is a long book. Oh. Yeah. I've never been in this building. Yeah, this is crazy. Here it is. Oh, well, this fell apart. See, this is why I say, like, I always like like to leave no stone unturned. Because you always find random stuff. What? Hey, little girl, are you up in here? Little girl? Where are you? There's like clothes here, linen. What? Stardust is the nightclub, I think. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, because nightclub is on here. Oh, is it? I mean, Stardust is the ballroom then. Well, yeah. you know what? There's a star in all of us. Health club. Oh, hairstyling salon. Yeah. Oh. Oh, baby. Well, look at all the linen. This is where they did the laundry. Oh, what? Holy snap. Look at all these cups everywhere. You gotta be careful because half this barn has collapsed. I mean, there's a lot, man. It's just very tiring to look at everything. Yeah. Wow. So much up here, guys. There's still another floor, but it's it's collapsed, as you guys can see. No point in even going. Yeah. Nothing worth of value, but it's cool to see this. Bro, oh, shoot. this Come looks on. like the most pedo outfit ever. <laughs> the Jeffrey <laughs> Dahmer this. glasses, the suit. What the? What the heck? The guy was probably sleeping in here. That's crazy. I bet, I bet Jeffrey Dahmer was here. Oh my God. Oh, God <laughs> Foot almost went through that, be careful. Hey, Carlo. Nope. I found some cum in a sack for you. Oh, oh gross. I won. Whoa. <laughs> so we're coming across another building over here. We're pretty much done with this video, but we're just, you know, checking all our perimeters. Make sure we didn't miss anything because I've never filmed this, whatever's in this. So let's go and check it out. What the heck is this place? Yeah, I don't know what this is. I've never been here before. Have you been here before? Whoa. This is wild. It's like a massive gymnasium. Holy crap. I wonder if this was like a storage, a warehouse, for like to store all their stuff here. Yeah, they must have stored some. Or, that's really big. What the heck? Yeah, it's a massive building. Wow. This is crazy, like, look at all this. Whoa! What the hell is that? What the fuck was that? Guys, we should get the fuck out of here. What the hell is that? I don't know. Yo, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm out of here. Let's okay. dip. Let's dip. I don't know what that was, but that sounded fucking dangerous. What the hell is that? Bro, you missed it. Bro, the door just slammed as we're walking away. What the hell? Hello? There's no, there's no even window here right now. No. Bro, I wish I filmed that. Dude, we're all walking quietly. Cameras aren't even rolling. Were you rolling? No. All of a sudden we hear a door just go eeeeee. Can you do that again? That was golden yeah, footage. Was I can't believe crazy. we missed that. Oh, none of us were filming. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. Things are happening here when we least filming. expect it. That was a crazy adventure. I did not find that little girl, unfortunately. I did try my best to search for her as we explored these locations that I haven't filmed on this property. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash the like button. Go follow everybody here. The links are going to be down below. And don't forget to support the channel. Links for merch down below. I'll see you on the next adventure.